All right, you ready? Uh, yep. Tuna Taco, for your information, when on mobile and landscape, the chat blocks your face. Oh, just because of the ah. just because of the pos positioning, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you should maybe have your uh have your cam and your chat on opposite sides of each other. Yeah, they are now. Oh, they should be. Yeah, now I can finally see Tat. Hey guys. Does it work? Uh, yeah, the chat works see. now. Hey kitten. Oh dang, uh, there's only six no, of you in here. Gunpowder. So much typing and there's only six. Um, no, I should have a better stream delay than Jinx. Mine's only like a one or two second delay. What determines the delay? Is it just your internet? Um, it's your settings. Oh. I don't know if you can even change it on the PlayStation. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Oh, I see now. Let's go. Once you were blind, but now you see? I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. Boop, 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 boop. So we're doing some pre-mounting damage. Okay. I got some amount of damage. It was on the chest, not the horns though. I was a little late. Okay, my actually my numbers are already bigger slightly with this new set. Cool. Uh, X Plunge, thank you again for the bits. Anyone Dude, got the rocks? Messages don't work on G Yeah, you got rocks. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, by the way, too, in case you didn't mention earlier, focus left side. We're trying to break all the parts on the left side right now. Okay. Yeah, cool. Focus tail if you can, Tuna. I'll worry about arm. Okay, uh, now I guess. broke on this side. Yeah, just arm now. There we go. There's the arm. I'll focus chest now. Actually, let's go to the next spot for uh, bombs. Don't want to miss them. Boop. Got piercing pod. That's nice. Nice. I'm gonna try this six dragon pod thing. I think I think it's six now. The problem is it's four when she's not in fury state, so you can only you can only uh prep three beforehand. So we'll really? go temporal mantle it's, and then so just, just kind of there and not yet. Uh, when the plating breaks, we're gonna break the plating in area two after the after her first dig. Copy that. I guess I just sharpen. Do we want a bomb chest now? Might as well. Makes sense. And then I'll focus hind legs here. All right, focus. Oh, we broke both. Alright, try not to break anything, but damage them, if you can manage that. Uh, yeah. x -plunge. yes, this is P1 strats, we're not trying anything weird. Alright, so don't break anything, you said? Try not to, because we want to leave them low health for later. Oh, cool, okay. I can still get the roll. Get the roll. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Oh shit, we're supposed to forecast or I forgot. <laughs> I already well, did. I already did, but no. by the time you guys get there. Should be digging by the time I get there anyway. <laughs> Since Tina hasn't had much chance to do like P uh, P1 strats yet, I wanted to make sure we have as much leniency as possible. In terms of like making sure the horns is chipping everything. Oh, I see. Never mind then. <laughs> oh, I see, and that's why we need the leniency. <laughs> you and Kismet always trolling. I swear to God. Uh, no, I've never done these with you guys. Mm, 
all. I've done regular cold with you, but not ATKT. Alright, so yeah, just focus the horns. It's the right arm we need, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, this damage is way juicier than before. Make sure you have your bombs ready too. Well, I got the right hind leg. What the hell? Got the right foreleg. There it goes. I got first. I got first detonation. It'll take a few hits at most to break the horns now. Yep, there it goes. Yeah, it only takes a few slicing if you get five bombs each. Its right tail is the only thing actually left at this point, right? I thought you broke left tail earlier. I mean, like, in terms of parts yeah, we broke, haven't I broke broken. everything on left side. Yeah. No, as in the book earlier. Done. Yeah. I think we were just meaning what needs to be broken. Objective like, wise. A part list. Yeah. Yeah, objective wise. That's why I was saying we're missing right tail right now for uh, objectives. It also means right tail is weak, so it'll be an easy pot break here. If you say so. <laughs> Huh? Uh, I do, but I was just gonna beat on it. <laughs> but that's a fair point. It would give us a bit more time if I did it that way. Got it. Oh wait, why did I dodge that? I have temporal on. <laughs> well, <laughs> so that's one part broken. It, so good job. We need accounts. We need account to. Uh... uh. Oh crap! I was out of stamina. I couldn't roll. Yeah, the horn chip was a, the horn break was a, oh the horn plating break was a little slow. So you've broken one part. Uh, hey tuna, how much time days? Uh, and I, can make it, I 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 can make it. I made it. I don't know, Jinx, you were already kind of by the time we started that, you already knew how to do that's two KT pretty well, right? What? So what? They that's three, that's three pots. That's three pots, Fallcaster. They were asking uh, how long it took to perfect the KD strat. The KD strat? Uh, yeah, I was about to say, like, uh, what's it? I was, like, our main KT squad got it pretty much down off, like, in the first day. They managed to get it, and then they got refined to, like, repeatable, probably, what, a day or two later. I just have just because of the fire and everything. I haven't really had much chance to actually play. <laughs> like I know the first two days, uh, the first two days I wasn't really able to play with anyone on the squad. So everybody get what they uh, kind of wanted from KT. I want everything. <laughs> All right, let's yeah try to pull it to rocks. That's oh, one part. Okay, well we just need one more. I'll buffer a little sleep to make this easier on us. Yeah, if you want to. Do we really need to? Is the question. But 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> if you want to do that, go for it. Oh god. I'm alive! Wow. What? Which, which one's the weak arm? Focus chest. It's gonna be easier. Chest is lower health than arms. Should we just pull it to another rock? We got it. Oh god, the gajas, they're on my ass. <laughs> Shit, I can never yeah, get that. Too early. I can never get that one. Okay, it should be one and a half dash dances because of the K rate, I think. I think. Yep. Sleep. I'll detonate. Are we gonna go for the third bomb? Going for a third bomb and ideally a second bomb after that. Anybody have affinity? We're not par we're not paralyzed. We're not. Yeah, we don't need affinity booster right now. Okay. We're not gonna. We're not gonna be hitting her. We're just gonna be bombing and then running to the pillar. Rip. That works. Cool. We got it. This this is the new tax Zon was talking about. Oh! Life powders. Oh you're good. Okay. Yep, now go for mount. It was built up, so it should only take one mounting to the head, right? Yeah, say one to the head. Alright. Other pillar. One of you grab impact mantle. Just one of you. Cool. I'm out of bombs, so I'm just gonna... I got one. That's kind of part of the main reason why I'm like, do we really need to do the cool strat? We have time to do the bombs if we need to. Hey, boo. Jinx and his girlfriend. Too cute. Yeah, sorry, it was I didn't account well for the uh, extra impact mantle. Hey boo, one sec. We're almost finished. Ah oh, shit, I didn't manage my stamina well, my bad. So what's the plan now? Life powder, life powder, life powder. Life powder, life powder. Uh. She knocked me. Uh, she's like two or three shots away from being KO'd. I just got hit by. I got dexed by her attack, and then she lava breathed over me. So I couldn't really do anything. <laughs> um. But yeah, I guess just freestyle. I should be able to. Uh, at this point, she should be low enough that I should be able to break her horns just by shooting her with some power coatings. I made a mistake and did not manage my stamina well. Oh, come on, that's... Damn. Rip. Sorry, I messed up, I didn't get the second KO for us. I was also banking on, uh, I was banking on my piercing pods to be able to cut, uh, knock her out too. Never do that. That kills you too quickly. She, she, she kills you before you can get more than two pods shot off and the pod kill is very inconsistent. Focus on getting out of the lava. Mm -hmm. her, new, her new lava breath kills you too quickly to do that reliably. Okay.
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, it is, Haiga. Uh, hey God! Hey Zon, you had Impact Mantle, right? And Yuri, you had Impact Mantle too, right? No. I was saying Yuri, I, we, we didn't need a third Impact Mantle. I'm just trying to figure... I guess really I have to do a coding switch to regain some stamina. Nah, it was just it was just my sequence was bad. Like after the para landed, uh, I needed to switch to power coatings and then uh, do some co to give me a little bit of extra stamina. It's because I ran out of stamina, so I was short a coconut or two to actually get the KO. Like, if I hadn't died there, I'm sure she would have KO'd after I hit her horns like three or four more times. Ah. He's okay. Yes, total learns. He knows about the new mantle. We learn new lessons. Uh, but yeah, Tuna, don't tr don't try to pod her while she's you're in her lo lava breath. You will die. Even if we get the KO, you'll probably die before <laughs> like she falls over. <laughs> just from it. Yeah, lingering. no, I figured. I I figured that, dude. But it's just like, all right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was I was pretty much screwed regardless. But well, you can still always survive that if you just uh stop panic diving the moment it's gonna kill you. It starts hitting you. <laughs> Like, you get just about enough ticks of it to survive. Oh, uh, Zadar... Yeah, Zadar's, uh... What's it? Zadar's CC build is not the one I'm using, unfortunately, because uh, I don't have the stream bow. If I had the stream bow, I'd be running the one that he has linked, though. Patrick, hello! Sorry, boo. You want to take a nap? No. <laughs> My last repeat will never be the same. I'm <laughs> sorry. Nah, guys, it's fine. Jinx is the kind of person to correct people's mistakes when he sees them. I usually just don't. Lol. <laughs> I believe in incremental improvements. I know. I also try to notice my but, own mistakes. But I mean, it's something where like them. I could I could correct you for your stamina management. I could correct you for oh, yeah, dying absolutely. first. Oh yeah, absolutely. I could do a lot of things like that. I just don't. Yep. Lol, I threw. Sorry. <laughs> this is a, wait. This is a P3, right? Yeah. Yeah, I might just. I mean, I'm still gonna use CC Bow in the Lost Area, so I can get a little practice off with it. Cause like, even though I know what my sequence is, it's just not fully muscle memory yet, so I make mistakes like I did last time, which can cost the run. <laughs> like, technically that, that CC Chain mistake wouldn't have cost the run, cause she was so close to KOing, I could've KO'd her in like, maybe two more dash dances. I just then got decked and Lava Breath on, and had no way to survive. <laughs> uh, the issue with 3 impact is we're gonna run into an issue of like her KOing super fast again in, for the first KO. 
Because we also lost a lot of damage because that first KO came like... Came like, what, f four seconds too early, probably? What? I didn't use coconuts either. Yeah, that's the problem, is that like... Yeah, like, the, so the way I... I forgot, but the way I had been sequencing it, so that if we have like one dual blades with impact mantle on, it doesn't like KO too quickly, is I do like full combo, uh, one dash dance, and then do a full combo again to regain some stamina and deal damage while dealing less KO. And then another dash dance, and I think that normally gets the KO. And then I switch to, uh, then I switch to para, do the same thing basically, and that way it lets me start coconutting at like 80% stamina, so I can definitely have enough coconuts for the second KO. Last time I just didn't do that. <laughs> and it's not really normally a problem either, because if I have, if I do that, I still normally have enough damage left at the end to, uh, oh, I still have enough impact mantle left at the end to be able to just coconut her. Oh, not coconut uh, her, sorry, so just shoot her in the head and get the KO in, like, a few dash dances at most. It's just I died, so I couldn't do that. <laughs> oh, well, that happened. Oh, I missed. Oh, it's it's chipped. It's chipped. Yep. Yeah, I'm just softening some stuff up. Uh, Crimson, I do not have a bot for that. Alright, that's enough of that. Either way, it's alright. First hunt of the day. Mistakes were made. It happens. If you stand there, she's gonna. <laughs> Alright. And so, thank you, wow. Appreciate that. That's two, two. That's three. Yeah, I'll break last part. You got. Oh, that's five. We broke. F oh, wow. Well. Wow. <laughs> P three is silly. It's okay. I mean, if we can break it that quickly with four people, we can break three pretty quickly with two people. I framed the first half of it, but it's such a lingering hitbox. <laughs> Iron Rock, yeah, we're only using uh, we're only using thunder ammo on the light bow gun. Although two. a couple of people run some stickies, which kind of helps the horn break. Slicing, not stickies. Or slicing, yeah, slicing, slicing. 
Stickies is a terrible idea, you'll screw up the CC. <laughs> uh, so what you're saying is, is that we should CC in Area 1. That's two. Oh, that's three, that's three, that's four, maybe four, I'm not sure. It's, th that's, that's probably enough though. Uh, one on chest, bow. one side skirt, one tail, that's three. You know, this is P3, I'm pretty sure we don't need to use bombs. <laughs> but let's just do our normal stuff. Exactly. Like we can do a. Um, Denise. What? Denzia. Thank you for the ball. Oh, good idea. I'll sleep. We bomb the tail. Makes sense. <laughs> to be anime, you have to get to where her tail is when she's like pushing her way through before she pushes through. Instant release. Nice. So yeah, bomb the tail, get a mount. Ah, she gold me. Lame. Oh. Okay. Oh, dude, we got the four box. We got the four box. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we got the four box. Don't even want to sleep. Yeah, it does. Uh, should I sleep? I guess I'll sleep now. What? Yeah, I guess he'll sleep now. <laughs> How did that hit me? I dashed back from the hitbox. I'm... What? Man, I guess I dashed too late. I just... That was weird. <laughs> hitbox and that move is so big. Well, I dash to the side on accident, that's possible. That might be what happens. Well, I guess we gotta be real careful now, because we don't want to carve again. <laughs> All right, I'm a coming. If you can double bomb the tail, do it, but only if you can. All right. Now we just need to mount after this. Ready? Just did it. Just did it. That's the tail. She's gonna red room, isn't she? Oh no! Oh, interesting. So that's new. I've never encountered this situation before, so... Are we bombing? Or... Don't need to. Let's not bomb, yeah. Let's just grab impact mantles. Lol. That happens sometimes. Ah, 
Ah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's up? Yep, it always is. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes they do that, and like it makes sense if you can if you can fit that, but not two demon dancers into a window. But if you like, what's it? The uh, other that world record KT group that we were competing with like way back in the day. Uh, so one of the dual blades uses triangle demon dance, triangle demon dance, which was unoptimal and kind of surprised me, because the damage you get like. Well, it's a demon dance takes about four and a half seconds, and then that triangle, triangle, triangle takes, I think, three. Uh, but it's got about half the damage of demon dance, so it ends up being a little less optimal. It is more optimal if you cannot fit like two full demon dances in there. Uh, once she's in, she once she enters fury state, she's always fury. It, there's not a time limit. DB backspin? Uh, yeah, so the DB, when you climb or jump off a ledge, you'll do your spin, right? That's not an aerial. If you press triangle, you'll do a scissor attack in midair. That counts as an aerial. The scissor attack counts as your mounting attack, basically. Well, we lost the one siege bonus, but we got a four box that time. What? Yeah, I only saw two. But the commander gave us the four box prompts. It only gave two. Like, when the commander says, what is this, we've never seen her do this before, isn't that the prompt for, uh, the four box? Or am I... Oh, that's just for fury state. Oh, you're right. Rip. LOL for box rewards, RIP. <gasps> I got a new bow, I got a new bow switch, uh, bow. The stream. I got the same KD weapon twice. In yeah. the same. <laughs> it's happened to me several times. Uh, really? Do you have, does anyone happen to have the new bow set. I'm tilted. Uh... <sighs> yeah, I know Naiwa sent me one. <laughs> Did it have damage though? Crit I7, did you have like your did you have your spread up and normal up? Gotcha. <laughs> uh, let's see here. What's up, Tony? You left work early. Oh, right, I need to sort by rarity too. Alright, there we go. Okay, let's see here. Um, Just for us. Too kind. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't run a Vade Extender. It really, screws up my, uh, really screws up my positioning. One sec, guys, let me just augment this, put this set together. Oh, I know, but I can't run Evade Extender. If I when it, uh, Evade Extender ruins my positioning on bow. Like there are times when I'm doing a uh, chaining where I have to dash towards you guys. If I have an Evade Extender, I'll dash into you and get flinched. Mm. Oh, I see. Because after a mount, the the area is so tight that if you. 
Uh, if you dash a little too far in the wrong direction, you get flinched and it kills the chain. And I'm just not used to evade extender, so that happens to me a lot. <laughs> Here. Oh, yours is a stam cap up right set, right? Yeah, actually, I might use yours just because I want to run stam cap. I'll do some more optimizing later, but. Actually, I think Naiwa sent me a, a stand cap set. Let me compare it real quick. Your set? Hello! <laughs> Schneiky. Epsilon, thank you. Uh, Jinx said I needed a new camera angle, so. You did. So, Empress Chests... I don't either. It pe Like, peak 3 gives you... I don't even think it gives you one more damage per arrow against KT because of her low raw hit zone value. It's just Empress Chest is there for the sake of being Empress Chest. You know what? If I run <laughs> the Empress Chest, Empress Greaves Alpha, I'll get health boost. That might actually be nice. What do you run? Empress arms and legs? <laughs> First person beard cam. <laughs> nice. Uh, I want to test out Stam Camp as the thing. Yeah, it's not a matter of need. Oh crap! I don't have like I only have. I can't have either. Uh... <sighs> All right, let's try this. I'm just gonna throw it together a set right now and actually like work on optimizing it later. But let's try this then. Uh, ouch, beast. Let's see. Yes, that's. Ouch beast, thank you for the follow. Crap, I don't have enough one slots now. Or oh, two slots now. Actually, cons two is fine. It's gonna be forty five percent, that's plenty. Cons two is fine. Throw in bomb throw in one bomber. Oh we already have a bomber in here. Throw in an expert then. What am I at now? What am I missing? Bow charge. What I don't have bow charge. Fuck Crap. Is this isn't gonna work. I might not be able to run Empress Cruise. Alpha. Ugh, I wish that piece didn't have Vade Extender, Slaughter is perfect. <laughs> That's a link for sure, dude. <laughs> sure. This set is so silly. Um, <laughs> uh, there's Mighty Bow. Uh, I guess I can throw in the third guns then. This set is so silly. Where's my physique? That's quite the link there. Now I need ice. Uh, why part of the... 430, what? a caps of 430, right? Yeah. Caps at 430. That gives me crit I7, ice attack 3, slugger 3, con 3, health boost 2, 
Spread, para, bow charge, bombardier one. Okay, I guess I get crit I six then. You know what? This set works. This set works just fine. I'm not missing anything important, am I? Nope, that's good. Cool. While we wait for Jinx to make a new build. <laughs> What did everybody get for lunch? I'm hungry. Cheney. All right. Let's mess with this. Let's see how it goes. Wait, is everything in here upgraded? Yeah. Okay, I guess that's just because it's bow. Low natural defense. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the only thing this set is missing is the Stam Surge, and that actually matter is the Stam Surge and a um, Crit Eye, compared to the Fraxel, thank you for the follow. no Stam Cap upset, so I'm pretty satisfied with that. Trading 5% Affinity and 2 Stam Surge for Stam Cap up, which I think is worth it to guarantee the 6 chain, or oh, not, not the 6 chain, to guarantee the uh, KO para KO. It's pretty nice out for me. Oh, uh, and it has poison. probably in the 40s. Oh boy. And it has Decent. poison. What is that lance? Oh god, why is this on rainbow? What the hell is this? What the fuck is this? Are you being raided? Yay! <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Guess you gotta kick him. R.I.P. Hike is- it's 60 degrees where Hike is at right now, it's ridiculous. Whoops. Ah, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Yeah, I actually like this new, uh, I like this new bow set quite a bit. I'll probably hop over in Honeys at some point and see if I can tweak it to get an extra, like, level 1 slot or something for health boost 3, but... Basically, a trade compared to the set that, uh, Kaiwa gave me, which is the one that you're running, Zan, I think, and the one that Zadar posted, is... This one gets stamp cap up and health boost 2 in exchange for normal shot, in exchange for losing normal shot up, two Stam Surge and a Crit Eye, which I think is a worthwhile trade. LOL. Hmm. That's fair. I think with a Stam Cap ups, I think with Stam Cap up, uh, Stam Surge is probably unnecessary. Do anybody have a New Year's resolution? You have your computer? <laughs> well, we're gonna do a few more runs first. Okay. What's up? My dad wants me to get stuff out, the rest of my stuff out of his car. I'll help you with that after this one. <laughs> Iron Rock. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Top kick. I'm tired. I know. I know. Yeah, same Pete. I really wish they would leave her full time. It makes so much more sense that way. Okay. Got a max potion now so I don't f her. <laughs> I have a, this is the bar spawn. Okay.
Well, I think Zom prefers to go for the after she pushes through the rocks jump on her head thing. Oh, during? Gotcha. Oh god, I'm stuck inside of her. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Not like that, Jenny, you pervert. Uh, hi Wraith. Hi Wraith. Thank you for the bomb. There we go, three parts. Yep. I mean, it's it's the slow spawn, so. Oh, she's fast. Was she molten for us? I know that I know it's possible to get her to molten beforehand. I just don't know what the mechanics for it are. Uh, she definitely wasn't molten. Yeah, I'm just wondering what the mechanics for getting her molten early are, because that's what uh, what's it, Wiley, and that speedrunning group does is they get her to molten early. That makes sense. Haika, you need <laughs> you need this song? I'll get it for you. Do 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 Free money. Do you guys want to hear the music? I just turned it low so only I could hear it. Okay. Heard. Got it. I'll damage the arm a bit. Don't shoot the right side? Shit, too early. Yeah, the white right. Yeah, we don't want to break it until after she digs. It slows on area 2 a lot if we break it now. Oh shit, I didn't go back. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, I want to Beyblade her, but I don't want to break anything on accident. Fuck. Oh, I still got 5 bombs left. That's enough. Alright. Can I sharpen before she rolls? I can, and I can roll the roll. Haha! <laughs> Look at me, I'm so fancy. Alright, break home plating now, guys. While I walk on other stuff. I'll go first detonation. Nice. A few slicing should be good. It's broke. I broke. One chest broken. Yeah, chest isn't really a problem, arms are kind of more the difficult part. If you have a dual blades on the team, then generally speaking the chests are going to go really fast. <laughs> gotcha. I generally end up running dual blades because everyone runs light bow gun, and it's going to have one concentrated weapon type. You just don't like the brain dead. That too. I mean, I would run bow if I wanted range. It's just I don't feel like it's necessary. I feel like dual blades works better in a team comp with three ranged already than bow does. Be chip once yet? Yeah, I should only take a few slicing. Oh, 
heard, I was just softening everything up with a Beyblade real quick. Since she's gonna turn that way towards you anyway. There we go, got it, as we broke the horn ship. Nice, that's one part. That's two. Oh wait, that's three, isn't it? That's four. I, that's yeah, three I don't, don't want to... That's it's three or three. four. That's three or four right now. I just had a pop break, but I don't know if we were at three or four before. Yeah, I've got a, I got a One, right arm, two, right tail, right three. left skirt. That's at least three. That's at least three. Just stop. Just stop. Where are my forecasters? Oh, I keep thinking I put them to the right, not the left. Rip, did it... Did it dig again? Oh, okay. Don't scare me like that. Uh, I'm using so many Devil's Blight. I don't have enough. I accidentally, I accidentally crafted all my Devil's Blight. Lol. Someone can I didn't give me mean some to, later. And the second I saw that, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Because I had like 300, and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, cool, let's just make a bunch of bombs. And then I realized what I had done. Lol, you know you could have just like quit without saving. Yeah, but then we were already <laughs> waiting, and I was like, ah, I'm not going to make people wait. Yeah, but now people have to give you Devil's Blight. <laughs> Either way. Everyone here yet? Nah, no, let's wait on dropping a rock then. Probably faster, just give me a couple Devil's Blight. Well, we, she's literally standing underneath of the rock, we're just waiting on you guys. I'm going left arm. Other rocks? Yeah, island, island. Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> that won't land, that won't land. I can do, I can focus on rock drops because I can't do anything other than shoot, like, the rocks. Ah, uh, damn. Yeah, let me just focus on rock drops, because... LOL. This arm is weak. At least it should be, we've been shooting it for a while. We also don't do any damage. That's it. That's it. We also just got the 15 part. Will she release? There she goes. Ah. Yeah, boy! <laughs> I got it! Bitch! <laughs> Jinx. Nicely done. I was trying to buff her more sleep. I couldn't even get that last shot off before she rolled me there. Do, do, do. Man, this should be way easier somebody to stamp cap off Somebody now. clipped me getting both both roars. I need, I need to see that for posterity. Come on, turn to something better. I know, but no one's in position to hit her, to bomb her horns right now. Is my concern. Fuck it. But yeah, that's a good point. We don't have to worry too much about position. I'm just stuck in my old habits. Two 
you guys want to do a detonation shop or something. Oh, that works. Tuna. Yeah. We're, we were bombing. <laughs> Alright. Just in case. Alright, center pillar. Crap, I should have saved my power coatings. I don't think that make much of a difference anyway. You know, I guess I'm a shooter in the head while we're waiting. I'm gonna try, oh, I was gonna say, I'm gonna try to get them out because I don't have any bombs. I can't, I can't detonate. Uh. Shit, wrong coatings. Uh. Yeah, we're not gonna probably not gonna get it right away. Sorry, I my dash juice ran out. I didn't notice until it was too late. Ah, why do I keep throwing? <laughs> yeah, I didn't have dash juice, so I run out. It's fine. I just gotta wait till I can actually shoot her in the head. And my impact mantle's out, so freestyle time. Nope. It's close. I just didn't. There we go. See, I told you it was close. I just didn't have dash juice during that mount because I forgot to re up it. There we go. <laughs> like all we needed, all we needed was the second mount or oh, the second KO. I just nice. didn't have dash juice up, so I ran out of coconuts early, even though I had stam cap up. My bad. I only needed two more coconuts there. Actually, probably one more coconut since my impact mantle ran out when those two coconuts landed. Huh? Because um, they're coconuts. They're coconuts. <laughs> I mean, they're coconuts. true. That's what they are, but. But, but they're coconuts. Uh, Joel, what, man, what, I just what, have friends. What's faster to say? <laughs> I just have Small, friends give me dash juice. Things? I save my melding oh, materials coming. for uh, melding mega dash. Oh, for melding mega demon drug. For dash juice, I just have friends give them to me, and then they can just quit the game without saving and have all the dash juice back. Demon dance. This is demon dance. I think it's actually called blade dance, but we call it demon dance for some reason. I think it used to be called but demon it... dance in previous games. But it does like a thousand damage per. Uh, yeah, the new one, the new KT uh, Ice Steel Blades do about 1.3, I think. Oh damn, that's good. Oh yeah, because this one, because yours, your set does it around 1100. Last, uh, if it's the one that, if it's yeah, the same it's, one well, as my counted. Yeah, it's Um, I don't have the exact same one because I'm missing the uh, the affinity booster. Like we haven't been using affinity booster, so. I apologize that the stream might be a bit pixelated. Unfortunately, where I'm staying at the moment, the internet isn't super great, so the stream quality might <laughs> Hey, we might got we got that sometimes. one three three seven time. We got that leet time. Leet. Leet. That leet. That leet gamer time. <laughs> leet gamer time. Okay, this time. Oh, we time, didn't get sixteen. Shit. What? Fifteen still gives you still gives you uh -oh. the five. Still gives you five. Why box. did I think it was sixteen? 
Yeah, we still got five rewards. Um, Spartan, the new dual blades, the KD, uh, the new KD ice dual blades do thirteen hundred damage. Something around that. Okay, let's let's see if we get anything useful, which probably won't. Wait, we only have five? Ugh. Five box? What the hell? Five box is the most we can get reliably. Yeah. Hey! That's why I say that's why I say reliably. Hey! Seven Memes box seven box, like we haven't figured out the actual triggering conditions yet, but as far as we can tell, the Memes four are box dead. rewards are RNG, so you can't reliably get them. So the most Jinx. you can reliably Memes get in a P1 dead. is five. <laughs> Lol. The most you could reliably Memes get in a P Let's in go. like a two run. Uh the most you can reliably get in a two uh siege run is six boxes, so five box P ones are still the best. Jesus. I got I got five new KD weapons and claw. There is one. a lot of raw on that one. hammer jewel, but it's unfortunately not a non elemental weapon. It has ice already, so Diablo's hammer still beats it. Uh oh thanks Panda Zeta. I'm glad you think we run good even though that even though our runs are a little sloppy right now for my Jinx taste. Jinx don't care. Jinx don't care. Lol. Uh okay, I will be right back in like five minutes, guys. I gotta help Jenny do something real quick. Uh I need to find the song. Here we go. Heika. Here you go. Here's your here's your song, Heika. Um, yes! Iron, there is a bunch of data for that on our Discord if you want to check that out in the info section. So, what did we get? I mean, I'm sure nothing good, but we got the new Assault Heavy Bow Gun. Uh, the, or the Ice Heavy Bow Gun, I'm sorry. Um, the KD Fire Charge Blade. Uh, it's Yumi! Thank you for the follow. Uh, that's probably garbage. That's also... Probably garbage. Lance. I heard the new KD Lances are pretty good, though. That's the one, though. That's, that's the bay. That's the baby. Let's go. We're gonna be Lance mains now. Lance mains confirmed. Uh, it's... interesting. Pero. Piero? Pierrot? I don't know. Thank you for the follow. I put your names here. Welcome to the stream. I need that Katie uh, Para insect wave. I think I'd be happy with that. Uh, Zan, are you still here? <clears throat> Zan, you back? <laughs> we will... Ramina, hello! Hello, Ramina. Yeah, I'm going to pick up some from my farm, then I'm probably going to need more Devil's Bite if you have a few. Thank you, man. I appreciate it.
Uh, is important to know the demo from the slash. Yeah, keep at it, Spartan. You'll get some new ones. I just need a I just need a charger deco, then I can actually play charge void. It's Yuri, right? Okay, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, no, I have I have everything that I need. I just accidentally used all of my Devil's Blood. <laughs> yes, thank you. Here, let me deposit the ones I have. I should be fine, I just need to get like a small head start. Although we might be using more than 10 with the new strategy. Oh my god, yeah, so I'm gonna be, I, maybe I can use Pyro. Uh, do Tuna, I have over 500 charge boat uses, and I got my first magazine jewel like 50 hours ago. Oof. Ugh. Big rip. That is no bueno. I was going to say, that should at least give me uh, six runs. We should be fine. Nice. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, Phoenix, thank you for the follow. All right, Ramina. Have a good snooze. Thank you for saying hello. Bye. Um, shit, if we're going to wait a minute, I might go run and grab uh, a little bit of food. All right, I will be right back.
Alright, I'm back. What are we waiting on? <clears throat> what are we waiting on? Hmm. Uh, I already got some from Yuri, but if you have some more while we're waiting. Well. Jesus Christ. Is that all you farm? I'm back! Ah! Uh, quick, stop talking about Jinx! No, keep <laughs> talking about me, I'm curious. Eat outside? Uh, he likes to eat ass and he likes to have his ass eaten. Yeah, both things are pretty nice. <laughs> oh, hey, Peter, what's up? Sorry, what? Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I always keep everything around like three to five hundred each for all the essential stuff, like all max potion components and all mega bomb components and might seeds. Like, I always end up having- I always keep around consistently three to five hundred for all of them. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Like, I don't really get- I don't really... <laughs> That's fair. But yeah, um, I generally don't get to actually farm, like, pa I generally end up, end up farming past 500, because by the time I get 500 in, like, every, uh, what's it, in every bomb material, is when I start running low on max potions, so then I start upgrading all my, I start farming all the max potion ingredients again, and, you know, etc, etc. Because since I run TA so much, and I don't like using Mega Potions, like if I get hit against a Tempered Monster, I'll just pop a Max Potion. <laughs> and I bring mats to make 10 more Max Potions. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> yeah, fair. Your <laughs> Tika. The TA run, I mean if you're doing if you're actually trying to get some TA records or really solid TA runs, you want to basically get the runs where you don't get hit. <laughs> I just run TA even on my normal hunts because it's more fun for me. Honestly, mantles pull away Wait, a lot of the fun need. for me. It's just like, oh man, now I don't have to worry about dodging. <laughs> Which is like eighty percent of this game. <laughs> Combat wise, is not getting hit.
Yep. Same. Like, I'm not a fan of it unless, like, I... I mean, I, I did do some of that stuff, of course, when I was farming decos originally. Because, you know, more efficiently you farm, more stuff you get. And the sooner you can, like actually play the end game <laughs> of having like the min of like the max deep sets and whatnot but we're going for yep You know, I think if I actually am on the other side and hitting her fleshy arm, I'll be doing more damage now that I think about it. Yeah, I'll get- I mean, I can get the arm too. You guys can concentrate on tail. Oh, never mind. I'll help with tail or hind leg now. My sharpness! <laughs> Poor sharpness, Rip. That 95% not working for you? It's 45% right now. She's not molten. Oh god. Oh, Rip. Yeah, focus the other side uh, now. Brunine. I'll soften up Yes, chest. I've got a lot of new things. When you just missed it, I just got claw again. Oh, you got claw again? <laughs> Yay! Congrats. Yeah, we were telling you, but you weren't reacting, so everyone was like, oh, Rip, Jinx doesn't even care. Oh, I see. I probably just didn't hear. Yeah, I got five new KD weapons and claw in the same. Also, if you also if you ever are, if you want to be even more efficient with ma material wise, like while you're running around here, you can pick up the fire herbs and stuff around to see. Yeah, I've, some I've already picked up all powder. that crap. I can't because I carry enough materials to make another ten ma uh, max potions, so I don't have any space. <laughs> I don't even need it, honestly. I just have it on habit at this point. I don't even need like maybe two or three per Farcaster. Whoops, my bad. I was trying to squeeze in a combo before we started bombing. Alright, so focus, so focus hind leg now. I mean, if you want to break the chest instead, that works too. I would honestly personally rather focus the- Okay, stop. Yeah, don't break shit. I agree. Well... Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I think it would be better for us to focus arm instead of chest, because frankly, Arms are easier to uh, harder to break than chest, in my opinion. Oh, to the hind leg, gotcha. I'm just saying on bombs we might be better off bombing the uh, arm instead of the chest. Plus, that plus you don't really run the issue of the of both chests breaking at the same time because of bomb placement. Yeah, if we're trying to optimize, I feel like bombing arm, bombing right side arm is better and then focusing hind leg. Especially because like if you do have a dual blades or a bow, both bow and dual blades have an easy time breaking chests. Speaking of breaking chests, I'm gonna focus arm actually. Oh, I broke the plating with my. She moved her head into my plate, into me. Thank you. Oh man, I could have put another bomb in there. <laughs> yeah, I actually was about to fit on the second one, but somebody blew. Man, Rocksteady is so nice. That all right? Chest is gone. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm focusing right forearm right now. Uh, guys, if you want me to react, or if you want me to answer questions, please uh, ping me in the chat. Or, you know, subscribe with a message. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. And remember to follow, guys. Uh, subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch. It's free, and it helps out a lot. Colin, thank you. Got it. Uh, I was gonna say, are we missing anything in particular? I'm just gonna soften up the titty. Oh, broke the uh, broke the titty. I think that's five. I'm trying to break another pot again. I think I could be wrong. Yeah, she should dick now. Yep. Yep. Uh, the amazing Joker says hi, Jinx. And hi, hey, Joker. Joker. Smash that like bell! <laughs> Smash that like bell! Hit that follow! Something. Smash that like tweets Instagram post <laughs> follow heart button. That's one, one. That's two. Two? Well, let's make sure we're not on the other side, because I'm shooting three. No, that's two. Uh, Marvin and Bishop, thank you for the follows. I got it. Yeah, I'll leave them to you, Jinx. You can get the chest, and I'm gonna just far cast her, because the chest is easy for you. Unless you think you need some help. Oh god. Yep, he needs some help. <laughs> that one-shots me? On melee? Oh, I have negative four fire, that's why. Rip. Uh, I'm just gonna switch. Thank you for the sub, man. That was Thank my you. fault, though. I made a big mistake there. You made a big oopsies. Uh, yeah, I, I was I was trying a to do oops. a uh, R two to Arc Demon. <laughs> I tried to do a R two to go to Arc Demon mode instead, and then Jimmy! do a uh, triangle up, square, which would have fit. But my R two didn't register. I guess I pressed it too early. So I did a de so I did a full demon dance while on zero stamina. <laughs> uh, so I was dead. I was dead though, no matter what. That was a big oof, big oof mistake. Uh, Zybot and Melsusa. Oh, big of. I have to drink two dash juices to get max stamina now. I mean, you sure you got this? I mean, should I just stay because I'm here? How many pots are broken? Yeah, just go back. It's better for us to take a long time in area three than to than to have to switch for area four and have less time. Uh, sure, joker son. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you the builds. Are Popeye next dash juice now? Um... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Eternal. You might want to check our Discord for that one. I'm not going to be able to... Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, oh, okay, well, that chest broke now. From my ice arrows. Yay. Uh, okay, everyone here? Uh, joke is on. Discord is in the Okay, I just broke two pots. <laughs> I just broke three pots, what the hell? Ice bow OP? Sorry. I'm gonna talk more quietly right now, guys. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Okay, that's not one shot, so we're good. Ah, that was supposed to be a dive. Renan, thank you. No, Gajas, do not kill me. Do not kill me, Gajas. Wait, are, yeah, are we at two deaths? I don't know, are we? Oh, yeah, we I'll, be caref I'll be careful then. I guess I don't have sluggers, so I'm gonna go more aggro with getting KOs. All right, gamer girls, let's go. I can't detonate. Oh, good, it magnetized to the head. All right. Yep. All right, let me... Don't sharpen yet, we don't need sharpening. All right.
Go, go, go. No, it's good. Just one. We don't want to die here. Oh shit. Uh, Pyrus, 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 please. Not enough. Yeah, it wouldn't. It wouldn't let me dive. I was only rolling. That's what I was saying. We. Yeah. Didn't want to go for the extra bombing there because we only had one cart left, and what just happened was a possibility. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. It would. It would not let me dive. Yeah, it happened. It's. It's probably because you roll. Because when you, uh, before you rolled before you started sprinting. And then, the, it seems the way the mechanic works is if you do a roll, uh, if you do a roll and you're not already sprinting, your next one's going to be a roll even if you're holding down the sprint button. Mm. Uh, yes, we've already but Yeah, that's why I was successful. saying we probably shouldn't go for that third round, for that like second round of bombing on the head afterwards, because there's always the chance if you do that, that someone's going to get knocked into a bad position and can't get out of the lava breath in time and will die. Well, I mean, to be fair, Jinx, if you didn't die, huh? Every I mean, time so far. <laughs> to be fair, yes. But I'm just saying <laughs> that is that. So that's a mechanical mistake, and that happens like in in just in terms of just fighting her and making mistakes. But in terms of things that are like strategically avoidable, getting those extra bombs in aren't really necessary. They're just an additional risk, and we all, and we can always get all of our bombs out on the mount anyway. So there's really no reason to do it outside of looking cool. But it has it does run the risk of failing the quest. That is true. That is true. Still, if we have one person who is most likely going to be pulling them out, they can throw those extra bombs out if they want. As long as we get a second KO, we're always fine. Is what it ends up coming down to. Yeah. It's just an additional risk. It's kind of like that JP strat of doing the uh, of doing the tail break on like a P1. It is feasible, but like it it runs actually it runs a lot of additional risk of failing for really not much of any reason. Although also I think part of it was that we didn't have like temporals and rock studies on when doing that. Jinx, before we go in, I need to see your dual blade build. For what? Area four. Because somebody asked. Yeah. Do I even have it? Oh, I do still have it. <laughs> this hasn't been updated in a while. I'm I'm not sure if it can be more efficient now. I don't like I said I don't really run dual blades area four. Uh, what weapons am I missing? Like, 90% of the sword and shields. But this is an affinity booster set. Uh, ideally you would have an attack augment, not an affinity augment on these dual blades. <laughs> Actually, do I have an affinity au attack augment one? I thought I did. You have affinity on it? No, but I'm pretty sure I have a ice dual blades with attack augment. Oh no, I have an empty one I was going to put attack augment on, then the new ones came out. <laughs> Yeah, Beaver, I flip it depending on what side of the screen it's on. Uh, Kava uh, Kavaki, thank you for the call. Anyway, while you're looking at that one, I can show peeps these ones. This is my new Thunder Dual Blade set. It's a Zorahemoth set. Pretty s standard stuff. 95% affinity when she's molten, which is plenty to keep the white natural white sharpness up. It's probably a good idea. Reset session entirely.
Sure, Zippy, I'll show you that set after this run. <laughs> Beaver. Yo, if you guys can figure out a bot that works, because I tried to do Nightbot, but they said that their Spotify thing was done. Oh, is it just me? Am I the only one who got out? No, no it's me too. Tuna as well. Lol, she's gonna teleport. Yep, she's gonna teleport. <laughs> At least this time I have enough time to buff. <laughs> Who else died though? Because I know I carted, but who else carted? Oh, that's right, then Zan. Zan got one shot at it as well. Eternal, thank you for the sub. Prime. Was it you? Oh, it was Yuri. It was, it was another one of you light bowgun people. You're all the same to me. <laughs> I have unfortunately ah, I only. I've only unfortunately only ever been the last cart. So it's Every always time. the most prevalent one. <laughs> yep. Always the most prevalent one. I always cut when it's not important. Because after I cut, I'm like, alright, time to actually, like, do this for realsies. <laughs> your carts are- your carts are important, because if your carts were not existent, then my cart wouldn't be important. Uh, still would be important. <laughs> we would be lacking damage for the C for the, uh, CCs. In area four, carting in area four is arguably the worst place to cart, or oh, like I guess inarguably the worst place to cart because that's when we actually <laughs> need we actually need the group damage and everything and have the least leniency. Not to say I haven't carted in area four. I carted in area four earlier, but Welcome to Stay Hydrated, bot. I'm pretty sure I already had Stay Hydrated, bot. Yeah, I thought you had that one already. I don't feel like we need to waste bombs here after yeah, that. Yeah, I'm not even gonna waste it. I mean, it's a P3. We're gonna get the parts. Watch us fail the P3. <laughs> I genuinely wonder if it's if we triple card if it's even worth doing a P3 because we're going to get four, we're going to get four rewards with the tail break and it's probably going to take as long or longer than the P1. Yeah, I, th I think we should just reset too because we're only going to get four boxes at most and it's going to take about as long as a P1. Like P3 doesn't take much less time. Compared to a P1, it's not really worth doing. Oh, I know what we need. It's boring for me to yeah. do, too. It's so brain dead. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen the new Spider-Man, please go see it. Pretty much the best thing ever. Dude, it does have the pizza. Part Breaker does only works- Part Breaker only works on the tail on Area 4, so it's not worth running. Are we, are we like actually still, or do you want to just freestyle it for the end? Let's just make it fast. Let's just CC, let's just CC chain so it's faster. Okay, I was just going to say like, do you want to just do whatever or, okay. No, let's like actually do it properly, that way it's faster. Just, just get Free, it done. Uh, <laughs> every time we do a, every time I, we've done a, uh, a freestyle P3, in my experience, it ends up taking about like 14 to 15 minutes. Which is longer than our P1s take, so it's really not worth. It's really not worth adding that extra few minutes when we should. When we could just be doing P1s, <laughs> that'll give us more rewards. In fact, I'm gonna. I don't want to even like risk things. I'm just gonna do this more carefully. Yep. I never homework? got my. I never got my extra one off. We didn't need it. Uh, since oh, I, de I detonated my, I didn't. No, uh, we two, two from almost everyone's needed probably. But I also did a, I also detonated the bombs with a spin, which I think is what actually broke it. Nice.
All right. Um, I believe the the right boob should be kind of well. I mean, chest's always never mind. As I'll say, it doesn't really matter. It's a P3. Things are gonna break. <laughs> I'm not even concerned about it. All right, I'm focusing one, exclusively two, on the tails. Two. Two. No, the tails broke too. How three. many are we at? That's three. Just dip. That's four. All right. Yeah, just just dip. Uh, like I said, yeah, things so are gonna the break. Scene after the credits. <laughs> it was really good. I the whole movie. I I there wasn't a single part of that movie that I didn't love. So I'm 90% sure if we double, if we like triple bomb like we normally do, she'll have one HP and die instantly after she furies. That's how it's gone most of the time when we do that, which is fine, let's just do that. Oh right, we have to break the tail, I forgot. Yeah, okay, um, bomb the, I'll sleep, yeah. bomb the tail. Grave yeah, Lordito, gonna, as far as we can tell, it's Spider RNG. As far as we can tell, it's RNG, right, right, right. and it seems to work like the Melder tables in that you have, in that you have a set, you have like a set sequence in which, uh, based on your save seed, that gives it to you. Since this uh, JP group did three, oh god no, oh god no, oh god no, oh god no. I'm fine. <laughs> Since I'm fine. we have this is fine. Since fun. we had a JP group that did three runs, got two, two, then four, they all save scummed and got two, two, then four again. So it seems to just be like a preset RNG table. And if that is the case, then that means that P1s are even better because you get them done more quickly so you go to the table faster. I am anime. You are not anime. Anti-anime. Uh, what's it like being a big boy streamer now? I'm not a big boy streamer now. What are you talking about? How have you guys not broken apart yet? <laughs> we did. We oh, so one. we miscounted earlier then. We must have miscounted earlier then. Lol. That's true, we could have just broken and switched. It's a P3. <laughs> Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Left arm should be low. Thanks, Gaja. Ah! That Gaja just <laughs> saved me. Oh, see, that Gaja just hurt me, which means I have to heal now instead of quickly getting in there and sleeping her instantly. Thanks, Gaja. <laughs> Appreciate it. Oh, and then she stepped on no, me. No, dude. Uh, what? Ch Ch Tiring King? Yes, dude. That was the most relatable thing I've ever seen in my life when he couldn't sing the mumble rap song. <laughs> I'm just like, same. <laughs> oh, tail. Yeah, bomb the tail Dragon now. Instinct. Now we bomb the tail. Oh, shit. Yeah, sorry. I got one on the face. Ready? Wait. Or are you guys gonna wake up on the tail? Tail's broken. I guess nice. we don't need all the bombs, especially if we have a GS wake up hit. Alright, don't die now, guys. Don't get too greedy and die now. I like being greedy, though. I'm pretty sure if I just paralyze and KO her here, she'll die. Oh god, no. Oh, I went far enough. What was yeah. that? You shot me. I'm not cold. What are you doing? Lol. Uh, Cyblix, thank you for the follow. Uh, 
There we go. Oh shit. Oh my one more. Shinde. Nani? Nani. Watch her not die. I guarantee she's just sitting at one at point. There right you now. go, got her. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got her with the upswing. I got her with the upswing. I think it was my power shot. <laughs> oh, well. Some combination of my upswing and your power yeah. shot. It actually probably wasn't my uh, uh, power swing or my power shot, because I saw the damage numbers like briefly before it breaks, and if an attack breaks the horns, you don't really get a chance to see the damage number. Like, the, mm. the frame that the damage number pops up on is the frame that it breaks, so... I don't have that good a sight. <laughs> Warrior! Thank you for the follow! The only reason I know this is because I have scrubbed through so much KT footage frame by frame. But yeah, if your attack breaks it, uh, it's almost impossible to actually see the damage number before the animation for her horn break starts. Kavaki, the new elemental light bow guns are better. Slightly. Uh, you can get six boxes by getting rarity uh, reward level 17, which requires you to break the tail and all parts, pretty much. <clears throat> all but one part, I think. And you can get the last two boxes by RNG, as far as we can tell. So you cannot reliably get eight boxes from all the testing that all the peeps have done. The JP, a JP group even did uh, testing to see if it works like the Melder table, and it seems like it does. In that, if you save scum, you'll get the exact same pattern of 2-2-4 two, 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 or whatever you get again afterwards. At least from the one time they tried it, so... As far as you can tell, it's purely RNG. Uh, who knows, maybe we'll discover what the actual mechanic is later. It's still possible it is a different mechanic, but as far as we can tell, it's RNG. So, all you should be aiming for is consistently getting 5 boxes in P1s. Which is the most efficient way to farm her right now. <laughs> yeah, Jogo, I'm the only one. I was the only one KOing, I believe. I don't know, maybe my teammates uh, had. No, that's not true. During the power. Jinx, I was. During the power, you were getting, com you were getting some falling bashes off? Yeah. Okay. So, Tuna saved me like four arrows. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's it's your boy Tuna. Oh wait, it's were you wearing were you wearing impact again. were you wearing impact mantle or no? No. Oh yes. Jeez. Okay, so yeah, you saved me like four hours. The paraglave. The paraglave. Yeah. Congrats. Congrats. It's a really nice glaive. That's that's my new one. I'll, I'll stop using vice now just for you. <laughs> oh thank God. Oh thank God. <laughs> oh, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> Uh, let me oh, get hey. my farm real quick. Jinx, you you know what it is. What's up? You 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 know who it is. Come and run the game. What? Jinx is off of his KDA phase. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm off my KDA phase. I mean, I'm still cosplaying <laughs> Akali, but I'm off my KDA phase. Rip uh, second breast KDA spread phase. heavy bow gun is horn. It's Glutton and then Horn. Uh, Marvin, there might be some cases where the new elemental IGs could be good. Um, There's actually quite a few. Specifically, there's quite a few. Yeah. Uh, it's but just the, uh, it's the match new dependent. best in slot one is definitely like the paralysis. It's the well, no, uh, new be best in slot. You... Best best in slot is still like is still Diablos, but. <laughs> No, what, what, what were you telling me though? Is like paralysis IG is the paralysis switch axe of basically, it yeah. hits extremely competitive damage. Like it's, let me think. It's probably fourth highest EFR, like oh, it's like probably fourth highest pure damage option, like raw pure damage option. But it's barely below number two and three. Um, and the, the I, like, so the weird the weird thing with uh. The weird thing with IG is that the Diablos IG is still really ahead in, p in terms of pure EFR from every other option, but it requires so much perfection to play properly. Because it has... you cannot run health augments, yet it has 10 units of white, 100% affinity if you do not run health augment, 95% affinity if you do run health augments, with 10 units of white, 
and it has three max might. So you have to play IG nearly perfectly in order for it to not hit blue, and if it hits blue during a hunt, then the other IGs beat it. So, like, it requires so much precision to play, like, so much, like, skill with IG to play to its actual, to actually make it better than the other IGs, but it is a lot better than the other IGs if you can play that well. Uh, otherwise, you have the Joe IG, you have the Ruin IG, and you have the Para IG. The Para IG hits higher EFR than the Ruin IG does, but it doesn't get blast damage, but it gets Para, so, you know. It's arg uh, if you're if you're not skillful enough to use a Blows IG, it's arguably the new best raw IG, just because of the Para function. It's so cool looking. Uh, do you do you put on the uh, para? Uh, the, I'll be the honest. Uh, I'll be honest. I think that session jumping to high pursuit levels like that is worse than just doing two put just doing two round runs because it takes a while to kind of find a session that's at the high level and that has space as a group plus you have to load in and then you have to beat Warrior it of Dark. and I've you don't get the an you don't SNS get the single name. siege bonus from always. doing that. So you get at max four boxes from it, while you can get six boxes from just doing a two-man butt-sniffing run yourself. Like, if you can't P1, you can just go in, pick up tracks for eight minutes, get break parts for eight minutes, and then leave, and come back at like P3 or higher and beat her in like nine minutes. And I still think that's faster than session jumping, plus you'll get one and a half times as many rewards as session jumping. Oh right, I was gonna show someone my ice bow set. This is the ice bow set. One sec, guys, I'm gonna grab a bottle of water while they look at this. You don't keep bottles of water right next to your computer? <laughs> oh, I'm so hyped that I got that. Yeah, dude, I need to get a mini fridge. But God, I'm so hyped! I can't believe I, dude. I'm I'm so good. I, I'm so happy right now. What's up? Uh, Broadwin. Yay! Thanks, man. Yes, I got the Para Insect Glaive. Super good. Super awesome. Really hype about that. Let's see, what's the difference? Yeah, don't don't waste all the time to. Yeah, just drop the two rocks. Uh, don't waste your time doing all the rocks in area one. You don't even just need to drop, drop the two, two rocks. rocks just one. Just one. Yeah, is just plenty. one is good. But you know, like if you got to do the two. Sure. Jinx, join this thing so we're not like kicking this other guy. Uh, sorry. One second. Uh, by the way, what happened to the soundboard? It's still right here. Eh, four boxes, gross. I need to get I need to get some different sounds though. I've actually been using it for uh, macros. Oh god, I'm running out. Of... <gasps> yes, I got the stream switch axe. Shush. I thought you were. Yay! What? I you, were you can meme on Peters. Alright guys, I got like one or two more runs in and then I gotta head off. Uh, Renan, I don't know if it's worth using the para skill. It would trade damage for more CC, but you're generally gonna get the same amount of CC anyways, so it's probably just better to have the damage. Yeah, the threshold difference between like a second, uh, from a second para to a third para is so high. Realistically, it's unlikely that you'll get that third para off even if you switch for para. 
attacks echoes, and if you do, it's probably because you lost damage. <laughs> like, with a melee status weapon, regardless of how your setup is, it's pretty unlikely to get more than two status off on the monster, unless it's something like Paralysis on Diablos, because Diablos is so weak to para. And even then, uh, it's she... unlikely you'll get an extra status from slotting in status decos. It just makes it happen faster. Kabaki, uh, she generally waits right before the rock drops, so if you throw it while she's standing still, it will land in front of her. Uh, the new Kiar Sparks actually do more damage than the Monarch. It has lower thunder, but its EFR is so much higher. So because it has such a higher EFR, it ends up doing more damage. <clears throat> I believe, at um, least. I haven't crunched the Mercurize, numbers. Mercurize, no, numbers you do not need Slugger for Great Sword. You just need Impact Mantle. The CC bow should be adding enough that it makes up for it. Is Charge Blade effective on breaking her parts at Pursuit 1? Jinx, <clears throat> have you seen anybody using Charge yes. Blade on it is if you can land, It is if you can land SADs. The hard part is actually landing SADs. The the problem oh, yeah. is that is that none of her animations are longer than your SAD animation, so every SAD is YOLO, so it's kind of up to luck whether or not your SADs land. <laughs> so it's just it's just not consistent is the problem. I Cap'n. I'm not. I got it. Yeah, let me spin this way so I can trigger those. Okay, I'm pretty sure that hitting the uh, hitting the fleshy part counts. Next there, next next spot. We already got the parts we need. Well, how about y'all yeah, shoot a bit more, and I go over there. Am I going the right way? I'm lost. She's not? I oh. say. Okay, I probably should have stuck around, sorry. Wait, where am I going? This is not the right place. Yeah, I don't know where- I, I started following you, then I'm like, no, wait, you're fucking wrong. <laughs> I'm lost. I'm coming! I'm gonna make it! I'm gonna Are make you? it! Yeah. One is enough? Ah, uh, you can go back if you want, I don't need. <laughs> Alright. <Chest> broke. <laughs> Um, Kavaki, this is Samurai Champloo. Okay, that should be low enough now. Yeah, it should be really low now. Do I have time to sharpen? I don't. I'm not gonna sharpen in time. Ooh, I, oh, I'm far enough away the roar didn't get me, never mind. What the? Okay game. Okay game. No one seems to be breaking it into random runs. Oh, it in random runs. Yeah. P1s require a lot of coordination and strategy. You can't really do it in random runs. You can do it with like yeah. pickup groups. Like you don't necessarily have to know the people you're playing with too well to do it if you all know the strategies. But <laughs> it's not the kind of thing you can reliably can, you can do in a group of randoms who have no coordination in their strategy. 
It's just not realistic. Uh, nuclear jungle. Yes, we do know which tunnel Kolbe will come off of. She either comes out of. Uh, there are two tunnels. <laughs> Yeah, two there tunnels. are two tunnels. By so... the way, as a reminder, guy, if you're uh, guys, if you're looking for a pickup group, there's a Discord invite. Please join us, and you can find uh, other people to communicate with, and potentially find somebody to run with. Break the horn plating for me, please. I will break everything else. Oh, I'll break all the front parts. I've got. I. I... Okay, I'm probably too far away if you guys pop the horn planning. Oh, nope, nothing yet. Shit. I broke... nothing. Oh god. Please no. <laughs> <laughs> Please no. I'll break this horn plating! Uh, nope, it didn't break. Sorry. I'm not gonna make it in sorry. time for all the bombs. Yeah, sorry I missed two bombs there. I, I missed the bombs because I was on the wrong side when it happened. It's not a huge deal though, I can shoot the horns in area 3 with my ice bow to make up the damage lost. Okay, thank you, <laughs> but nobody needs to go out of their way. Just give us a follow, you know, that's really all that's important. Uh, it's free for you guys and it helps me out a lot, so if you haven't followed already, please do. If you enjoy the content, that is. The positioning here is bad for us. I got the arm. I'm right there. Tuna, careful. <laughs> like I said, I can chip the horns of my ice bow in area 3. It'll actually give me something to do. That's one. That's two. Shit, I messed that up. Uh, Chirobo! Brainer! Thank you for calling. Yeah, I was trying to get that Beyblade off first, but I couldn't get that fast enough. Anime. Well, it's actually Anime good for softening real. up everything on the backside as well. But yeah, also that. Also anime. I'm pretty sure Kieran is... I'm pretty sure Kieran is immune to paralysis. Is he not? Yes. Yes. There's just someone saying that you can re you can realistically only paralyze him once with a Paraswitch X. I'm pretty sure he's immune. To the switch. Nice chip, but switch. Tuna switch. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to find my damn podcaster, dude. <laughs> like, calm down. It's just I said switch like 10 seconds ago and I saw you not switching and I was like, Tuna switch, Tuna switch. Yeah, give me a second if you're so late... I can get out of the laser. <laughs> nah, Fuck. just podcaster away from it. Yeah, yeah. remember that one time that uh, okay, you tried to podcaster away from the laser as it was firing and then you died because... <laughs> True, but that's one out of the like 20 times that I have successfully done it. <laughs> uh, 
I'm gonna just let you guys do your thing. No, I refuse. What about Elemental Dragon Piercer? It has a point. It's the same as Helm Break. It's the same as Helm Breaker. It has a point one uh, modifier. So in order for it to equal the same amount of elemental damage that a level four power shot does, you have to hit the monster eighteen times. Sounds like it's possible. Huh? You're saying there's a chance? <laughs> no, I'm saying that in the time it takes a dragon pierce, so you can land force power shots. So no, you'd have to hit something seventy-two times to get it. So, so you're so you're saying there's a chance? No, I'm saying it's I'm saying it's physically impossible to match. <laughs> is what I'm actually saying. So, it's but, mathematically but so you're impossible. saying there's a chance? No. <laughs> yeah, true. Modzon said it's a chance, but it's zero percent. <laughs> you guys got it yet? I'm just like chilling over here. Yeah. Ah, too early. Too early, damn. Get Look, over here man. quickly, guys. I'm gonna sleep immediately. You say run goes with anything. You say run phase four. Oh wow, that was really immediate. I actually expected that to take at least a power shot. I didn't really think... I thought it would decay faster. Okay. You didn't get the bombs. <laughs> I actually can't tell where the head's gonna be here. Alright. Let's, I guess, use this pillar over here for mounts. <coughs> I'm gonna be safe and use temporal now. And not die uh, like I a derp. I would totally temporal, but I don't. It's just like just short. How many impact mantles are we gonna have? I need uh, to know. Mr. I need to know to adjust my combo. And zero okay. burn. Okay, sure. Just keep doing that, Cole. That's cool. No, I don't. I'm using temporal. <coughs> okay, so one GS, one dual blades with impact. Cool. Oh God, what? I forgot that leaves a lava pool. I'm always at melee range there. My bad. I'm sorry, I forgot there's a lava pool. It's okay guys, eventually I'll stop throwing. <laughs> Will you? Eventually. I've got like one more run after this, probably. No? Okay, this is apparently my last run. Anyway, you guys can mount now. Is she gonna kill me while... Oh? Everyone good? Everyone good? Nice. Oh, there's lava where we need to put the bombs down. Watch out, Yuri. Watch out, Yuri. <laughs> That's all I got. Should be good.
Yeah, I'm trying to adjust for it. Yeah, I don't have the slugger any- There it goes! I was one nice. shot away! Ugh, one shot away without slugger. Nice job. Let's go, boys! There Ugh. you go! We've got two already. That's our third, actually, but... That's what I mean, two already. Yeah. Goodness gracious. I mean, it always came down- It always came down to whether we got that second KO or not. And... All of our fails so far have been triple carting, not timing outs. <laughs> Juicy. Uh, f I'm trying to think of. Oh, that's right, because of lack of slugger. But how can I make up for that? Hmm. I mean, I can go S and S. It doesn't really matter. No, I'm just wondering. I think we're like, fine. I'm just wondering how I can make up for that personally. Like, if I do car out, what can I adjust about my sequence to get more? I guess the only thing I can really do is hold the para a little bit later, so I can get two extra coconuts off before the para Patrick, happens. Patrick, it is sleep, triple bomb, mount, KO, para, KO. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna prioritize Actually, adding extra KO during the second para. It's sleep, triple bomb. It's sleep, triple bomb, cart, mount, <laughs> KO, para, KO. Don't forget, it's cart, then sleep, then triple bomb, then cart. <laughs> Stop on the right foot, don't forget it! <laughs> and in one of our runs, it was cart, sleep, triple bomb, mount, KO, para, cart, KO. <laughs> it's always good when you beat a run with the uh, Boku no Hero Academia OST. <laughs> Lol. Is Microwave Bagel Bites Bagel? It's probably Bagel. It's, he. Microwave Bagel Bites just said, Jinx, don't be afraid to report trolls like Zahn and Yuri. I assume that's Bagel. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. Well, if Jinx is going, then what do we need to do then? Is that it? Or are we going to try to get a replacement? Uh, Mercury Eyes, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Paramount KO, fuck it up KO. <laughs> yes! I got, I got a water SNS, let's go. <laughs> yeah, the difference between running pow power coding and not power coding isn't that big a deal. Um, against KT at least, specifically, because like you said, it only scales off of raw. But it still is extra damage. Ooh, ice light bow gun. Will this be my new? Uh, pain. No, I'm pretty Luna sure you said that during the uh, P3. Oh, it is. Not by a big margin, but it is. The the issue with elemental light bow gun is that. Uh, at this point, the only thing you can really do to add more damage to an elemental light bow gun is more raw, but raw gives you such a low return on investment for damage. Because it does increase your damage, just not by Good a lot. Mate. And like, the new, yeah, the new one, if I remember correctly, it's like 12 more raw. You get 12 more raw on like most of the new elemental light bow guns. Yeah. Really? That's so weird. That, like, I feel like... It... Yeah, it seems like crit elements wing for crit status too, which is super weird, like... That's so weird. I guess the important question... I guess the question then is, does it do that still if you have 0% affinity? Like if you have like the thing to test next is does the status count or status shot change count change if you have zero percent affinity? Because that'll confirm whether <laughs> or not it's crit status or whether they just innately are better at status for some reason. Because apparently so the, then what's 
Oh, uh, I haven't hey. actually looked much at the new para essay. I haven't gone it yet, and I haven't had too much time to actually look at new builds for all of the new weapons. Uh, from what I've heard from other people, it's worse. But I don't know if that's actually. I don't. I haven't personally test uh, checked the builds versus the old para switch axe. That's so. I guess awful... we got Tony coming in. <laughs> that's some Does awful bold talk CC? coming from someone within crusading distance, Zahn. Bagel says. Does anybody know how to CC? The sequence is a bit different with Heavy Bowgun, yeah. Spartan asks, why is the new Ice SA good for cold health? Numbers are high. Burn Stan, thank you, Pitfall. Um, basically, the way that Jinx explained it to me was that SA deals the third best elemental damage in the game the way theoretically. that it's built. Theoretically. Theoretically. Yeah. But because every SA has such terrible elemental numbers, or just uh, numbers it in general. Yeah. yeah, like, in terms of how the mechanics are set up, Switch Axe theoretically does elemental melee damage the third best in the game after Sword and Shield and Dual Blades. But the, uh, it probably, I'd say, okay, it's probably tied with, like, say, uh, Elemental Charge Blade for that. In that the way the mechanics are set up, they have a very high potential to deal high elemental damage. But all the element power element Switch Axes so far have been terrible. So the new ones are actually good enough to the point where they may beat raw in some situations. Apparently the, sh the new Ice Switch Axe does beat uh, the Joe Switch Axe for Call to Roth specifically. That's what, I've been, memes? that's what I've been told at least. I haven't actually tried it yet. So I don't know what the numbers look like comparatively, but I believe it. The numbers look like they'd be high enough. You know what? No, I want some real music. Time for real music. Not to mention, Switch Axe, Switch Axe always had good potential to be very high damage against Kolv. Because the nature of how you fight Kolv, with that everyone clusters up on her during CC chains, means that a Switch Axe gets two, can, get, uh, can uh, ideally get two extra amp explosions off per swing because it triggers off your teammates when your sword passes through them. So theoretically, uh, that's an extra eight. That's an extra uh, 18, 18 motion value per swing, from you, the fact that by the nature of how you fight Kolv, everyone clumps up next to each other on the horns. So that's why we. That's why when we did that three man run with no CC, we chose to do switch axe because a we, like Kismet and I are both switch axe mains, but also because uh, switch axe has really high DPS potential in a group, when they're all clustered up like that. Lazy Penguin, no, I do not believe uh, that in every situation Elemental SNS is better than Raw. It's not. It's matchup dependent. Yeah, you can you, yeah you can you can definitely get some really good matchups with a uh, Raw SNS. It really comes down to like the thing is pure damage numbers wise, Raw still beats Elemental, but it comes down to whether you can take advantage of those damage numbers or not. Like on Diablos, for example, your Falling Bash can't hit his head effectively. And your Falling Bash, one of the hits, always hits his back if you're aiming for the belly, so you don't get to take advantage of your high motion values. Because the hits and values right. are forced to hit. That's yeah, why Ice SNS works so well. Raw SNS is... If, in a perfect world, I believe Raw SNS is pretty much the best option right now, because we don't have terribly great SNSs with uh, like really high values. Like well, the new Kiara plus. ones, we do, but... <laughs> wow. Well. I I still haven't get I haven't got them so. Lol. <laughs> but yeah, like the the SNS is the only weapon where both are competitive, which is really nice. Charge blade. Uh, kind is of raw now, I SNS guess? still the sticks? No, Baroth Club has always been the best SNS for pure raw damage. Actually, uh, I think my... actually I think sticks beats it. The Baroth. It has lower EFR, uh, but it I has blast. I was gonna say, but I was gonna say the. Uh, I think if you can manage to get what two explosions, I was thinking the ruin. Ruin does better than sticks. Sticks hits. Sticks hits one less EFR than ruin does with an a when agitators proc for both of them, and it has three times the blast. <laughs> uh, sticks uh, for SNS and I think IG the sticks are actually outliers because they have ten more true roll than every other sticks weapon in the game. So they're actually like they're actually more competitive than the rune versions for I 
I don't... Is it IG? I don't remember if it's IG or a different one. But anyway, there are two weapons, one of them being SNS, where for whatever reason, they decided to give them 10 more true raw than every other weapon, so they're on par with, like... Uh, they're on par with, like, other higher raw weapons. Like, instead of 20 less raw, true raw than, like, the Joe weapons, they only have 10 less, so they become a lot more competitive, especially with a high blast. Hey, Jinx, somebody posted a build in uh, Monster Hunter World build discussion. They want okay. you to take a look at. Uh, I will in a bit. Let me see here. Switch X. Rarity. Uh, is there any reason to get the Xeno Sticks dual blades over Teostra Ice or bl plus Blast? Mm, that, sticks that just dual better. blades are not good. No, the Sticks dual blades are just better than all of those options. They're the best Blast dual blades. Oh, the I just meant sticks. I just meant blast dual blades in general. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Blast dual blades in general are only good against Nurkagante, but other than that, like, sticks is the best blast dual blades. Uh, Tony, is Tony in here? We're waiting for Tony. We need our fourth. Three thirty ice is pretty nice. What the? What was the Legia Frost Reaver like again? Ooh, it's so pretty. It uses the Legia Frost Reaver skin. It's so pretty. This Switch yeah. X is so pretty. Yeah, Kavaki is correct. Uh, Kavaki is correct. The, those dual blades with the, the double element, you only get, like, one does one and the other does the other, so you get half the procs. So it's kind of... Yeah, you actually get half the listed value, essentially, of what it actually yeah. says. Remember when uh, uh, <laughs> crit element and crit status? <laughs> hmm, interesting. So People were saying that was going to be super good. I mean, people still think that's going to be good. Theoretically, that's the best. That's probably like the best way to optimize that weapon. It's just that they're not very good. <laughs> Uh, Roduck, if you don't have Styx SNS, the best augments for the Barrel Club 3 are... I think it's pretty much, what, damage, damage, affinity, right? Yes, the Styx SNS has 10 higher true rule than other Styx weapons for some reason. It, they just decided to make it that way. Uh, what are you uh, thinking about? Thank you for the follow. No, the, uh, for the Baroth SNS, yeah. I'm pretty sure you just do damage, damage, affinity, right? Uh, no, you need health as a peak performance set. Oh, okay. So then, yeah, damage, health, and affinity. Yeah, I although... Thought, I could have swore there was a speed run where somebody... I think it was because they used affinity booster. But they had, like, three damage on their bear off. Was it the blow like speed run? Was the, is it the world record blow speed run where they unlocked the element on it and it was hilarious? <laughs> no, it was like a, it was like a Nergigante speed run. You've where seen it that was run, damage, right? Damage, damage... No. It's amazing. It was damage, damage, health. Yeah, if you're running they, Affinity yeah, booster, booster, that makes sense. Yeah, you're running Affinity booster set. You don't need the Affinity. You don't need the Affinity augment. But yeah, no, it's a hilarious. Yeah, the, ward, the current world record TA run for Diablos with Sword and Shield is a free L is a free element Barath SNS. They do a slicey really? dice style and just keep him power locked while they do huge damage with like slicey dice in the Barath. It's really funny and so off meta. It's interesting. Wow, that's <laughs> yeah. cool. Sword and shield's uh, best. I don't care what you say. Lol. Alright, guys. It's been fun. I'm gonna hop off now. It's Good luck been with real. your runs, guys. It's been fun. It hasn't been real fun. I've, I've gotten like three things I wanted off this. So it's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Later, man. Bye. And bye, stream.